Hey everyone, it's Kara here from Boho Berry, and I'm super excited today because I have finally, finally gotten my new academic year planners into the shop this morning. So I just wanted to film a quick overview to kind of show you what's new in these academic year planners and what's different about them than our regular dated and undated planners. So the first thing that you'll notice, it's actually this row up here at the very top. Uh, we have three different color covers. So we have purple, we have teal, and then we have a gray cover. Besides the cover, everything inside them is identical. Obviously there's going to be a few variations between the student and the teacher planner, but overall they're very, very much the same. I am working on also creating a monochrome version of these planners with the black cover and kind of gray monochrome tabs. However, that's probably another couple of days of work, so I'll probably be releasing that on Monday for you all. Okay, so let's dive into one of these planners. So I'm going to open the gray student planner and let me just go to the front tab here. Then I'm also going to open the teal teacher planner and also go to the front tab. So now we can kind of compare these side by side. And actually just to show you the purple one in full screen too, we'll open that one there as well. All right, so the first thing you're gonna notice about these planners is that they're much larger in scale. My first planners that I came out with at the beginning of May, I'll open this teal on a wood desk, for example. You can see much more of the desk and the planners are a little bit smaller. I did that only because I wanted to have these tabs here for blank pages and help. However, I realized I could tuck those in elsewhere and give you a little more real estate to write on when you're planning. So back to the teacher version here, you'll see it's definitely much larger in scale. Uh, we're on the front page here. As always, all of these buttons here are links. So this will take you to our Facebook group, Instagram, YouTube, Pinterest, Twitter, and the shop, of course. The very next page is the 2018-2019 kind of year at a glance overview. And this covers all of the months of the planner. So it goes from July 2018 until June of 2019. And that is the same as our monthly tabs here on the left-hand side. All of these are also links. If you tap on it, that will take you to the month of July, this one to August, and so on. All right, so that's the 2018-2019 tab. You could always add some blank pages here after this if you wanted to add any other kind of like goal setting for the year and things like that. All right, uh, up next is the bonuses tab and this is my favorite addition to the academic year planners. I'm definitely going to incorporate this when I do the 2019 uh, full year planners as well. But this is kind of where I've put those extra links. So we have links to your blank pages down here. This will take you to a graph page, this one to a dot grid, this one to lined paper, and this one to blank. Also here on the bonuses tab, there's a quick little link to the help page. If you ever need help uh, figuring things out, I've got some common questions answered here as well as some other links to YouTube channel, Etsy shop, and our Facebook group there as well if you ever need help. All right, so in the teacher planner, this is where things start to differ a little bit. In the teacher planner, the two kind of bonus spreads I have for you, one is a lesson plan, which we'll click on that, and this is a nine week lesson plan and it's broken down into nine different weeks, Monday through Friday, and then a section for notes. And you can write your class and your dates at the very top. And of course, you can duplicate this and insert it as many times as you want. The next bonus is a student checklist. This is something I've seen quite a bit in teacher planners and I really hope that it will be helpful to you. Uh, you have a column for the student name and then I don't know if you can really tell when I'm zoomed out, but if I zoom way in, you can see that there's a bunch of columns in a light blue and white kind of dividing the columns there. So you can write in whatever it is that you need to check off for each student and then put your check mark in that box. All right, back to our bonuses page. Um, I also have some bonus weekly layouts for you. So the weekly layout that I put in the planner, if I go to July, let me just tap on the first week here, you'll see that it's a vertical weekly layout and it's an hourly format from 6 a.m divided by the half hour all the way down to 9 p.m. You have a column for notes on the left-hand side. 
We have three boxes at the very top of each day, and then we also have a little section down at the bottom of each day that you can use as you wish. Now, going back to the bonuses, I realized not everybody wants a vertical hourly layout, so I decided to actually include the alternates here in the planner for you. So we have a horizontal layout with a Monday start. We have a horizontal layout with a Sunday start. We have a vertical layout with the Monday start. This is the exact layout that I used throughout the planner, except it's undated, so you could reuse it as you wish. And then finally we have that same vertical, but with a Sunday start. And then the part that I really, really like is I added kind of an index where you can create your own templates. So one thing that was very clear to me when I was asking teachers and students what they were looking for in a planner is that everyone had very, very different answers. I know all schools are different, all classes are different, all teachers are different. So for me to try to create a bunch of layouts that would work for everyone was very daunting and I don't think I really could have done it justice. So what I did instead is I created some links here so that you can create your own templates. So for example, if I click on this first link here, you'll see it's just a blank dot grid page. So you could create your own template here. Alternatively, you could bring in a template that you purchased off of Etsy, either from me or anyone else for that matter, and just bring it onto this page. And then what's really cool, here, let me write on that page real quick. So let's just say, so let's just say test. All right, so I've written on that page. Now I go back to bonuses and let's just say I wanna call this test. All right, and let's get my link clicker ready. So now I can just click on that and it takes me to that test template that I created. And then you can duplicate this page over and over again, but have all of your templates indexed on this main page, with it, which I think is really cool and fun. All right, up next we have our side tabs here on the right. And these are just like in my regular planners. It's just a really simple tab and there's nothing in between. So you can add in your own pages, whether you want those to be blank or dot grid lined, whatever you like, even some of your templates. You could have this first section be lesson plans and you could copy over your lesson plan template and put it right in here. Uh, the reason that I left these blank is again, everybody's different in what they need, especially between different schools and teachers and students. I didn't want to pigeonhole you into a certain format. I wanted you to be free to create what you need in your planner. So that's why I left these blank. One little side note, if you want to label these tabs, I recommend starting at the very front of your planner. Go to the second page here, label these tabs, and then just lasso and copy and paste them over to each page in your planner. I know it sounds a little daunting, but trust me, it doesn't take super long, maybe about 20 minutes of your time, and it'll be done. So that covers all of our bonuses and our side tabs. Now I just wanna show you kind of the meat and potatoes of the planner, which is the monthly and weekly spreads. So I've kind of redesigned the monthly spread here. In our regular planner, it's a slightly different layout for the grid of the boxes, and we have a habit tracker here on the left. In this teacher planner and student planner, I really wanted to make this free for you to design as you wish. So I just left an empty space for notes on the left there. And then most months here, if I click through, you'll see that you have a wide open space at the bottom to write any extra notes or do any kind of trackers or anything that you wanna do down there. So I really like this format because of that. And then the months that have six weeks in them, you'll always at least have this right-hand section to write and do those trackers if you wish. So on each of the monthly spreads, you can actually click the first Monday of the month. You wanna actually tap on the number and that will bring you to that week's weekly spread. And I do have it color coordinated. So this shows that it's going from June to July. This is just July. and then we have August. And again, all you have to do is just click on that first Monday, it'll take you to that weekly spread. And then what's great here too, is that in any of these months, you can absolutely add extra blank pages in between your weekly spreads if you need more room to spread out and do a little bit more planning. All right, now I wanna show you the student version and how that's different from the teacher. So 
Overall, it is exactly the same. We have the 2018-2019 year at a glance spread, and then we have the bonus index, which at first glance looks identical, but instead of the lesson planning and student checklist, I have two different layouts in here for students. So the first one is an assignment tracker, and if I zoom in real close here, you can see it's just a really simple assignment tracker. We have room for your class and subject, your assignment, the due date, if it was completed, and what grade you got on that assignment. Then we have a goals and resolutions page, and I really like how this one turned out, uh, but these are your school year goals and school year resolutions. So in goals, I kind of segmented it out into sections. So you have academic, extracurricular, health and fitness, family, and friendships. And then on resolutions, I thought I'd leave that blank so that you can kind of fill in with whatever inspires you to be your resolution for this school year. And then absolutely everything else besides those two bonuses is exactly the same as the teacher planner. So you can index your own templates here, you can create your own categories in your tabs, and then all of the monthly spreads and everything works exactly the same. All right, y'all, so that is gonna do it for my quick little overview of the teacher and student academic year planners that just went in the shop this morning. If you have any questions, definitely let me know. Definitely be sure to join our Boho Berry Digital Planners Facebook group. I'll have that linked in the description below. We have so many helpful people in there and it's lovely to see our little community growing there. All right, y'all, I hope you have a great rest of your day and I will look forward to seeing you very soon. Bye.